Zion Williamson's high school highlight reel is filled with incredible plays. But the best clip featuring the future number one pick has nothing to do with him because it's all about the boy who was courageous enough to guard him. Back when he was an 8th grader, Spartanburg native Bryson Bishop checked into a varsity game, and in a few seconds, he became a viral sensation. Bishop watched his teammates getting dominated by an out-and-out -out beast in the name of Zion Williamson from the bench for long enough. So when he was called into the action, the 5'5 guard had seen enough already. So he found the big fella in no time flat and made sure that Zion knew he'll be guarded by him. The moment of Bishop clapping in Zion's face and the future number one pick's face that clearly Red, is he going to guard me for real? He gave an instant classic. Although Williamson dropped 36 on the day, there was only one talking point after the game. The kid who was guarding Zion. As a 13-year-old, Bishop was no match for anyone in the game physically, let alone the most dominant high school player ever. But his Patrick Beverly-esque defense on Zion left people impressed. And he also showed his shooting prowess by dropping three three-pointers. Although he was majestic in his effort and attitude and was rightfully praised, Bishop's career didn't take off like Zion's did. That being said, he continued to play ball and had a remarkable high school basketball career, representing the Spartanburg Christian Academy. Growing into a 6'1 frame and adding some muscle mass helped the guard a lot. And as he honed his scoring skills, especially from beyond the arc, he evolved into a dangerous combo guard. Bishop was already his team's leader in his sophomore year, and halfway through to his junior year, he had already achieved an incredible milestone, surpassing one thousand career points, averaging 20 points and five assists throughout the season. Bishop took his team to the state title, and he went on and did the same thing in his senior year, while improving his stats on points and assists per game at that. But as fate would have it, his title clinching efforts didn't have the desired effects on recruiters. Bishop was, at his best, considered as a two-star recruit, and he had to wait for his first Division I offer till the very end of his high school career. Charleston Southern University was where he wanted to kick things off, but shortly after joining Joining the team, Bishop redshirted as he believed that it wasn't the right program for him. As expected, not playing a single minute for a whole year didn't do wonders for his career, and he ended up settling for an offer from a Division III team. Now playing for the Birmingham Southern College, Bishop is nowhere near his potential or initial fame. But that didn't change the fact that Zion Williamson respects him. After a reunion with the pesky defender last year, the New Orleans Pelican superstar had praised Bishop's attitude in J.J. Reddick's podcast. Quote, I've got a lot of respect for him for doing that. For him to be the one to come over there and do that. I've got nothing but respect for him for doing that. End quote. There's just so much to pull from this story. For starters, it shows that looks don't matter. An absolute beast and a man who is associated with brute force more than anything, Zion Williamson is a classy gentleman. The second and probably the more important lesson to be drawn is that making it even into the upper echelons of the NCAA is a tremendously tough job, let alone making it into the NBA. It takes a lot of talent hard work, and most definitely, good luck. And frankly, it feels like Bishop lacked a lot of that last part. With that, we'll be wrapping up this episode. Before we leave, make sure to let us know what you think about how things turned out for Bryson Bishop. 